Okay, today's Wednesday tip. For you guys who are waiting around for that next client to come through the door and you don't know when that's gonna be, here's what I advise you guys to do, especially if your your portfolio is lacking the proper, um, the proper images to attract the type of clientele you, you're trying to have. So I suggest that you guys go online or go into a thrift store and sort through the rack, pick out the cheapest uh, garment that you can find, something that you feel that would add uh, a good dynamic or a good interest in your current work. Now, this dress right here behind me, um, to the pools. Okay, I spent about 15 bucks for this off of Amazon, and I think that that was a pretty good deal because here's what I'm doing. Purchase is just for 15 bucks. Uh, let's see the package. 15 bucks. So I'm taking $15 and I'm investing in myself because I know that my website needs uh, fresh images and I wanted to try some new things. I figured, hey, you know what? No better time than the present. Purchase the dress, then I sort out the perfect model. The perfect model meaning what is my, what is, what's what's lacking in my book and whom do I want to shoot more of? Okay, there's some things you should consider. Once that's done, get yourself a makeup artist. Find someone who's willing to work with you, or you, you know, willing to work with you or trade with you, and present them with your concept as to what it is you're trying to do. Give them their sheets of examples of hey, I want my makeup like this. This is what I want. And once that's done, that communication is done with your makeup artist. You also have to communicate with your models and say, hey, this is what I'm trying, this is the mood, the feel that I'm trying to capture and I would like you to help me with it, okay? And another tip, predominantly, I mean, not predominantly, but I try to buy medium outfits because medium outfits have a tendency of being uh, not, too, not too big, not too small, it's so slightly too big, it's just a matter of grabbing a few clamps, putting it in the back of your subject, um, in the subject, bang. It's nice and fitted. Um, also have, on top of getting the white one, I also have a red one that I haven't used yet, that I'm about to use in a few days. And I have a gray one that I haven't used yet, that I'm about to use in a few days. So this is just another tip for how you as a photographer or a creative can invest in yourself. My name is Romeo, coming to you from Dan Photo Studios. Hope that this tidbit Wednesday has been uh, helping to you. If it has, please like, subscribe, subscribe, <laughs> and let me know what you think down below, okay? 